Book of Bhoots, author Shabnam Minvalla, illustrator Ruchi Bakshi, published by Pratham Books. Bhoots, what are they? They are the ghosts or the evil or bad creatures that make us afraid, scared. Are they true or not? We will never know unless we see them. But we have heard stories about them or from our elders. So let us see who these booths are and what are these creatures. What wanders outside on this dark and moonless night? What howls from the treetops and whispers your name in the wind? So what wanders walking aimlessly here or there outside on the dark and no moon night? What ooh, howls from the top of the trees like a dog or a wolf? And what hey whispers, hey, your name in the wind? Maybe nothing. Maybe something. It depends on where you are. It depends on what you believe. Based on what you think or believe or based on where you live. It could be something or it could be nothing. Buck, keep an eye on the ponds and rivers. The bark lives here. The bark has twisted arms and legs and its eyes and mouth are on its tummy. So the bark is a creature that lives in water, in the ponds, in rivers. And how does it look? It has twisted, twisted hands or arms and legs. And where are its eyes and mouths? It's present in its tummy or stomach. Look at this whole creature in this picture. Don't you think it is scary? If you meet a bark, don't worry. It is more interested in stealing raw fish than in scaring you. Kach, kach. Kach. So, if you happen to meet a bark, you don't need to worry because it only likes eating raw fish or uncooked fish. So, it is not looking to make you afraid or scare you. And how does it eat the fish? Kach, 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 like that. Bark is a creature that is believed to be in Assam. Find out where Assam is in India. Jilaya, don't look up at the skies at night. The Jilaya flies like a bird when it's dark. It sleeps when the sun shines. So do you look at this bird-like creature here? It is Jilaya. It has wings like a bird. And when does it fly? During the night time when it is all black and dark. And what does it do during the day? Yes, it sleeps. If you meet a Jalaya, don't let it hear your name. It will suck your blood. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Jalaya are creatures that are believed to be in Bihar. And what do they do? They suck your blood, just like you suck the juice from a tumbler using a straw. These creatures suck your blood. Yakshi, watch out for palm trees. That's where the Yakshi lives. She floats above the ground and is always thirsty. She takes her victims home 
and the next day there are bones under her tree so yakshi is a woman ghost wearing a white sari believed to be in kerala and where does she live on trees and she is upside down floating above the ground she look here she doesn't touch the ground and what does she do just like when we are thirsty we drink water when she is thirsty she drinks blood what does she do she takes her victims victims mean anyone who is attacked or killed so she takes them home and next day what do you find under the tree that she lives only bones if you meet a yakshi tell her not to come to tea kuchal 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 so will you invite a yakshi to your house for tea i do not think so skondo kata be careful when you walk near railway tracks the skondo kata wanders here he has lost his head in a horrible way ouch he is looking for what he has lost so do you see this kondo kata he doesn't have a head because he has lost it and where is he near the railway tracks and he is constantly searching looking for his lost head If you meet a skondo kata he will ask you to search for his head too chuk 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 so look at this skondo kata walking on the railway tracks asking you to search find his head skondo kata is believed to be in bengal rantas beware the misty mountains the rantas works her dark magic here she has long toenails and hair down to her knees and her feet are turned backwards so look at this rantas she is in the misty mountains of kashmir misty is in the mountains the clouds all come there are water droplets and everything you can't see clearly and that is where rantas lives in the misty mountains of kashmir she then does a lot of bad magic or dark magic and how does she look let's see she has long toenails and look at her hair it goes up to her knees and look at her feet they're all turned backwards and not forwards like us if you meet a rantas don't go with her you will never come back fish 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 look at her wandering in these cloud filled mountains in the dark night retro preth stay alert in the desert the retro preth hides here it uses sand to change itself one day a brown hill the next day a wave in the sand so retro preth preth means dead body and where is that it's in the desert a desert is a place full of sand with very little water here or somewhere there and what does retro preth do it hides in the sand and then uses the sand to change forms maybe a brown hill or a wave in the sand like this If you travel to the desert don't wear browns and yellows 
this sandy spirit will attack you did you hear the sandstorm yes so if you're traveling or you're going to the desert especially in rajasthan do not wear a brown or a yellow colored dress this sandy ghost or spirit will come and attack you kolli deva keep away from moving lights in forest the kolli deva lurks here he walks through the night with a wooden torch and dances and troubles travelers so look at kolli deva here where does he stay in the forest of karnataka especially he lurks in the forest what does lurk mean he stays hiding or hidden when when someone comes he attacks them what does he carry a torch you can see the torch in his hand he has a wooden stick with fire there it's a torch wooden torch and what does he do he dances and anyone who travels or walks that way to go to some place he troubles them if an invisible hand tries to light your lamp scream and run chum 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 so you are not able to see but if there is a hand that you cannot see comes and tries to light your torch just start running and scream shout help help do not stay there so what wails outside your window on this black night you desire so tonight if you hear whoo or a wailing sound you decide what that sound is yes it could be that of the wind too maybe it's a bird that sucks blood maybe it's a woman with feet turned backwards maybe it's the wind in an angry mood ghost map of india just like we have physical map political map there seems to be a ghost map rantas is from kashmir retro pre is from rajasthan kolli deva is from karnataka yakshi is from kerala jilaya is from bihar bag is from assam and skonda katha is from west bengal so we have seen what different people believe in different areas of the ghost that they think is there at their place we do not know if this is really true but we have heard such several stories from our grandparents or elders these are all folklore or stories or folk tales that has come from ages back let us just enjoy them and let us wish that we never see a ghost thank you i hope you enjoyed the story along with me let us understand the meaning of some words howl to make sound like dog or wolf's cry Ooh. thirsty needing to drink whisper speak softly hello like that twisted not a natural shape look at that twisted hand in the picture mist a cloud of tiny water droplets which makes it tough to see things victim a person who is attacked or killed try these questions which booth scared you the most in the story and why If you are a booth what powers do you want have you heard about booths in your place from elders if so tell us thank you